Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for December 31, 2022. Yes, it's the last day of the year, the $296 million edition. And we begin with that story from Reuters. As regulators in the Bahamas say they hold $296 million in FTX crypto assets, not $3.5 billion that had been previously reported. The Assets were seized in November, and the commission uh, made the statement to, quote, clear up any confusion, end quote, about the assets it holds and their value. So for those who were hoping to get any money out of FTX, it's not looking good. Uh, Next up, from the Houston Chronicle, Chris Tomlinson, the business columnist, with an interesting story about a fabulous con man from Texas. The Texas State Securities Board filed an emergency order against one Adrian Lamont Gunn for <clears throat> offering shares on Craigslist in a planned Houston nightclub. And it turns out this was a complete fraudulent act. So uh, frauds can happen anywhere, obviously in the Bahamas or in the state of Texas. So uh, he goes on to list several other um fraudsters from the great state of Texas. Uh, Next story is about leadership or not very good leadership because Tesla had one of the worst years uh, it's ever had as its stock plunged 65% uh, falling up from um, $627 billion uh, to somewhere in the range of $200 billion total uh, capitalization for the uh, company. And um, this is really, I'm sorry, it's 672 million loss in total capitalization, which obviously uh, does not bode well for the leadership of Elon Musk. And when you don't keep your eye on the ball, well, things like this happen. And our final story comes to us from the Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, Richard Vandefort reporting that security experts grid, or GERD rather, for a potentially tumultuous 2023, yes, 2023. Uh, with the economic slump, the cyber attacks, regulatory demands, and of course geopolitical risks, um, that's the world we live in now, and these risks are only going to increase. So, I've been in this field for 15 years, and here we're talking about risk management as important in 2023 as it's ever been. And of course, it's always been important. So look to your risk managers, sit down and talk to them when you get back in the office. I hope you have a safe and happy New Year's Eve. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.